Hey guys, welcome back to another SG Rocket Company video. Today I'm going to be doing another unboxing and building video. So sit back, relax, because we are starting right now. Alright, so today we are going to be working with the Estes Red Nova, which is a really nice skill level 2 build. It can reach up to 800 feet on its recommended engines, and it has a total length of 21.6 inches. It also has a 15 inch parachute equipped to it, and yeah, it's got this really nice uh, red, black, and white paint scheme on it. And yeah, I think we're ready to open it up here. All right, so first off, we have this really nice big body tube. Got a nice diameter on it. And then we have uh, like the parachute and the shock cord and engine hook and all that good stuff in that little package. Then we've got a D motor mount. And then my favorite part of this rocket is the uh, really, really unique uh, nose cone that it comes with it has like this really nice lip right here. That's That's really unique my first of these nose cones. So kind of cool And then uh, we've got the We've got the balsa wood fins some nice patterns going on here like uh, at The smaller ones those go so there's two sets of four on this rocket so I think the larger ones go on the bottom and then the the smaller ones go like halfway up the body tube and then uh, we've got like the instructions and the really nice decal set kind of retro looking so yeah let's go on and build it all right so our first step is going to be marking the motor mount tube with one fourth of an inch one inch and two eighths of an inch And then on your two and three eighths of an inch mark, you're gonna wanna take your X-Acto knife or box cutting knife and make a one eighth of an inch wide slit along that line. All right, so the next step is to just glue the engine hook retainer ring, which is the black ring, onto the motor mount tube. You're gonna wanna do it at the one inch mark that you just put on there. So make a circle of wood glue around that mark and just slide the engine hook retainer ring onto that mark. All right, so next you're gonna take the laser cut centering rings and bring them out of that pattern that they come in. And then you're gonna wanna glue them onto the motor mount. The first one, which is the one with the notch in it, goes at the very bottom of the motor mount with the one fourth of an inch mark you made on there earlier. And then the second one, which has no notch in it, you would put at the very top of it. There's no mark for it, it just goes at the very top of the motor mount.
And the last thing you need to do for the motor mount is put in the engine block, which is that little green ring that it comes with. You're going to want to just put a ring of glue around that and then just stick it in the top of the motor mount. And it should stop at the notch of the engine hook that's in there already. And while the motor mount is drying, you can work on the fins. First, you're going to want to take the balsa wood fins and bring them out of the pattern that they come in. Be very careful when doing this, you do not want to crack the fins themselves. Alright, so now you're actually going to glue the fins onto the body tube itself. So take the bottom set of fins, which is the larger set in the pattern, and then uh, they should, all four of the bottom ones should be flush with the bottom of the body tube. Alright, and now you're going to put on the second set of fins, which goes six inches up from the bottom of the rocket. Just glue them on the same way as you did on the bottom set. Alright, and now coming back to the motor mount, you're going to want to just put it in there. So put a circle of glue around each of the laser cut centering rings and just slide it in there. You're going to want the bottom of the motor mount tube flush with the bottom of the body tube. Alright, so now you're going to install a detail on the outside of the body tube of the rocket using the wood strip that the kit comes with. So take the wood strip and measure 5.5 inches from one end of it, and then from that 5.5 inch mark, measure another 5.5 inch marks. And then cut those in half right down the middle, and then um, any pieces that you have left over from the wood strip you can just discard. And then take the two five and a half inch wood strip pieces and take some sandpaper and just round the edges of each of them. And then just glue the wood strip pieces onto the rocket and they're going to be six inches up from the bottom of the body tube. And then you're going to install the shock cord. So you're going to start out by cutting out the shock cord mount out of the piece of paper that it has.
All right, and then you're gonna take the shock cord and the shock cord mount and glue them together. Alright, and now tie the other end of the shock cord to the bottom of the nose cone. You're going to want to double knot this so it doesn't come out very easily. And now it's time to tie the parachute onto the nose cone. So take it out of its packaging and then just uh, make sure all the shroud lines are untangled from the packaging and get them all together in a group and then just, just kind of feed them through the end of the nose cone that has the loop in it. And then just loop the plastic part of the parachute through the ends of the shroud line, making it tight onto the nose cone. And finally, glue the end of the shock cord mount into the inside of the body tube. You're going to want this in about 2 inches in make sure it doesn't intervene with the nose cone in any way while it's in the rocket. Alright, and our last step on building this rocket is installing the launch lug. You're going to want it about 7 inches from the bottom of the rocket, and just make sure it's straight. There's the finished product of the Estes Red Nova. It was a really fun and relaxing build for me. And if you followed along with me at home, I really hope you enjoyed building this rocket along with me. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you could do me a quick favor and like and subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. Also, turn on bell notifications to stay up to date with the latest SGRC content. Remember, anyone can be a rocket scientist even you. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.